Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers, this is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you a special bonus love reading, working through the major arcanas, card number five, the Heriophant, spiritual messages from the Heriophant. The Heriophant energy can represent family, traditional values, maybe even moving in together, long-term relationships, long-term partnerships, clubs, associations. Any type of involvement with the community, faith, spirituality, the cosmos, etc. Traditionally speaking, the Hero font is represented by the sign of Taurus. Okay, some of you could be straight up dealing with the Taurus for some of you, not for all of you. We're going to go ahead, dive into this reading today. go ahead roll the dice see what we need to shuffle the deck to we have the number nine the number three and the number three 933 maybe some of you will receive communication either at 933 in the morning or 933 at night or maybe when you view this it could be 933 in the morning or 933 at night with the number nine, I'm automatically seeing hermit, hermit energy, and the number three, empress energy. <clears throat> Any of the nines or the threes could come up, the wands, the coins, the swords, the cups, okay? I'm going to go ahead and add the three to the 93, which breaks it down to the number 96. With the number six out of the 96, lover's activity, some of you could be dealing straight up with the Gemini or Cancerian energy. With the number nine, Virgo or Libra. With the number three, Piscean energy or Aries. When I add up the 96, the number 15, automatically seeing the devil card kick in through the sign of Capricorn. Some of you are dealing straight up with the Capricorn. Okay. And also breaks down, the 15 breaks down to the number six. So six represents balance. It could also represent pregnancy as well or birth of new ideas okay we'll see how the hero font is going to play out with the energy of the roll of the dice okay so just keep in mind that not all messages are going to resonate for every single scorpio and every single cross watcher under scorpio but i could say that one thing throughout the reading today and it will be like the aha moment about a hundred percent of the time all signs get represented across the board aquarius libra gemini cancer pisces scorpio taurus virgo capricorn in Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, and 96. Calling upon the power of Archangel Michael and the energy of Goddess Diana to keep the energies fair and balanced within this reading between masculine and feminine energies. To bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Okay. Scorpio cross watchers pulling from the top of the deck. Ah, three of swords, but in the reverse, somebody here wants to heal and mend a broken heart. 
In the past, it was in the upright. Third party situations, a separation, a breakup, a C. This came up in the reverse. Somebody here wants to heal and mend a broken heart. Bottom line. Somebody knows that they weren't committed to the relationship in the past. Could have been an Aries, bottom of the deck, the Fool card that could have brought about a third party situation or a breakup, whatever. We're talking meddling energy, not your Aries partner, okay? Mm -hmm. Or it could be with the Fool card on the bottom of the deck, somebody here wants to be in Carpe Diem, seize the day. Some of you Scorpios or your person or the both of you could both be dog owners. Mm -hmm. But it's about loyalty. Somebody here is trying to march to the beat of their own drum, try to be their own Pied Piper. It could be that somebody here is moving on to greener pastures and maybe not necessarily following the fold anymore, following traditional family values or customs or not believing family members or the things that they have to say. Because again, the Herio font is about community. We shall see. <clears throat> One, two, three. Wow, fool card just wants to kick in. All right, there's a reason for that. There are no coincidences. Somebody here wants to take a leap of faith. Literally a leap of faith, because here's faith and belief, and somebody's taking a leap. There are no coincidences. It could be that some of your partners are going to reach out to you, Scorpio, or vice versa. You're going to reach out to your person. Somebody here wants to seize the day and not look back, like I said, not look back to the toxic meddling family members, the third party situations, karmic situations, karmic girlfriends, karmic boyfriends, ex-wife, ex-husband, soon to be ex-wife, soon to be ex-husband, the whole nine yards, you guys. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Equal give and take, equal reciprocity, not being one sided. What did I say about the sixes? The six represents balance. This is about balance. Six of Pentacles. And what's interesting is that the fool is looking away from what appears to look like family members. In the past, Scorpio or Crosswatcher under Scorpio, somebody here was breadcrumbing their partner, giving their time and energy to basically tomfoolery energy, tomfoolery family members, lies, betrayals, deceit. And this fool is looking towards the energy of the Three of Swords in the reverse to heal and mend a broken heart. I say to get back to true love. Somebody here wants to rededicate themselves to the relationship. Six of Pentacles, balance, harmony, joyfulness. But on the other flip side of the coin, not looking back to certain family members that disrupted the relationship. <clears throat> One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. Archangel Michael, what is the energy of this Three of Swords in the reverse from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them with the backup support of the Herio font energy? What is the message? Wow. Somebody definitely does want to heal a broken heart. There's going to be victory here. Archangel Michael Sword of Truth is going to also cut out third-party situations and give, I say, I say a spiritual awakening to whoever needs to get into the full mode to be in this carpe diem, seize the day. Because somebody is, I say, I'm hearing the phrase, take the bull by the freaking horns. Sign a Taurus energy through the Herio font. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for the Ace of Swords. We need to see this. We need to see more of it. 
Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the fool from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them? Why would somebody want to take a leap of faith? Why would somebody want to seize the day or seize the moment or reach out or communicate, bring balance to the force of this relationship? What does the fool want to say? Yeah, they're going back to true love. Bottom line, going back to Queen Mira, Queen of Atlantis Ocean. Bottom line, somebody is going to rededicate themselves to whoever is in the Queen of Cups mode. Power of the numbers, you guys. Power of the numbers. Mm-hmm. It could be that some of you Scorpios <clears throat> are specifically getting ready to go into the full mode in order to sit back up on your throne again. To remain confident. The fool is very confident. And some of you, with your energies, because of the breakup, because of the dirty bird activity... Some of you have been in low vibrational energy, feeling sorry for yourself, you know, for some of you, trailing behind. No, this is where you guys need to be, on your throne. On your throne. Claim it. Time to take charge. Time to take the bull by the horns. Be confident. Because true love is coming back, you guys. It's coming back. These third-party situations, somebody's going to find out the truth about the third-party situations and the meddling energy. Could also be the reason why, too. Could be family members. Family members that lied, betrayed the relationship between two people, for some of you. Or karmic situation, karmic person, karmic boyfriend, karmic girlfriend, the exes, whatever. Mm-hmm. Here you'll find bringing in some straightforward messages. There is forward movement, major forward movement. The Fool and the Ace of Swords. What is this energy of equal give and take, equal reciprocity, Archangel Michael from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them with the Six of Pentacles, with the backup support of the Hero Font? What is this? Yeah, see, somebody here is leveling up. Somebody here is leveling up, or it could be Aries energy here. Somebody, again, if the meddling energy is an Aries, for some of you, not for all of you, somebody is turning their back on a parental figure, for some of them, or gearing up to turn their back on a parental figure, because that's what the emperor is. The emperor represents somebody who is either a parent or they're married, um... I'm seeing the, the emperor coming in twofold, okay? A lot of variable different messages here. Somebody's going to turn because the fool is not looking. The fool is not looking in the direction of the emperor. And if we have a money card here, there could have been control, manipulation through family inheritance, family money. The money ties that bind your person Scorpio to their family or crosswatcher unto Scorpio, Scorpio's family members that they have financial ties or bonds to, okay? Somebody here is not going in the direction, not following the fold. Somebody here is a black sheep and there ain't nothing wrong with being a black sheep. Mm -mm. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. We'll see. There's an energy going on between the Six of Pentacles and the Emperor. But the Fool is not looking in the direction of the Emperor. On the other flip side of the coin, somebody here is going to level up. <clears throat> I say somebody wants to feel on top of the world again. Because I'm seeing the world card kick into my mind's eye. Archangel Michael, what is this energy of the Hero font from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them? What is this all about? The Empress. A lot of variable messages. One, we have a power couple energy here. Emperor and Empress status. Where there will be balance between you and your person, Scorpio. 
few other messages. It could be that somebody here is getting into the fool mode to walk away from a meddling mother figure. Could be a Piscean mother figure, an Aries mother figure, Taurus mother figure, or a Libra mother figure to be a little bit more specific. Could be any sign of the zodiac. And on the other flip side of the coin, must be a three-sided coin here, that somebody here is going to rededicate themselves to Empress, to the Empress. The Empress actually is a level up from all of the queens. The Empress embodies all four energies of the queens. So there is going to be a new beginning. The fool represented by the number zero is about a new beginning. And this is going to be a huge new beginning. When I'm talking about the number six, like I said, pregnancy. Well, some of you could be thinking about motherhood or fatherhood, whatever. doesn't matter. Male or female doesn't matter. And building a family. Somebody here wants to build a family with somebody. Or it could be that somebody here, Scorpio, wants to get you pregnant, get you knocked up, or vice versa, take the roles how they resonate for people in that situation or that feeling or that vibration energy. All in general, this is exceptionally positive today out of the eight cards that we have with that three of swords being in the reverse it's like i'm hearing the bg song how do you mend a broken heart well it's about at this point in the ball game it's about somebody taking a freaking leap of faith getting into the fool mode and doing the right thing and thinking things through but there's an energy going on also too between the fool and the um the uh queen of cups how are they going to do this? Because to the right side of the Queen of Cups is the Ace of Swords, Archangel Michael's Sword of Truth to the right-hand side. And here we have the Emperor, but the Emperor represented by the sign of Aries to the left-hand side of the Queen of Cups. But the Emperor is not looking in the direction of the Queen. Why would that be? Well, because of meddling energies, because like I said, this could be a parental figure that destroyed your relationship, Scorpio, or vice versa. Scorpio, it could have been your partner's family members that destroyed the relationship. <clears throat> a lot of you were living under the same roof with your person at one time. We'll see what the energy is between the Hierophant and the Empress, okay? A, lot of, a little bit more clarification to do here. So this is straightforward. Somebody is going to seize the day, seize the moment. Somebody here is not looking back. What supports the energy of the Fool is the Queen of Cups. To uplift, to lift and raise whoever is in the Fool mode to reach a higher frequency to re to reach a higher vibrational energy. It could be again that somebody who is in the full mode is getting a spiritual awakening. Ding on my phone, confirmation. Hero font dominating over the fool. Enlightenment and the sun. Literally, the sun, the imagery of the sun that is shining on this fool is spiritual enlightenment. The sun is represented also, too, by the power of Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael rules over the sun's energy. And here we have Archangel Michael's sword of truth. There are no coincidences. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is going to go in between Hero Font and the Empress. Okay. Uh, okay. Archangel Michael, what is this sort your sword of truth from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them? Cutting out the BS, cutting out the third party situations. What is the Ace of Swords victory bringing in for Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them with the backup support of the Hero Font? What is this? Pas Whoa. Wow, that was fast. Passionate energetic communication. Prince of Wands, Aries, Leo Sagittarius energy. Doesn't have to be. I've got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The gang's all here right now. We'll see with this passionate, energetic communication. Somebody is going to reveal the truth that they are leaving a third party situation. And somebody is going to feel really lighthearted, excited, enthusiastic. And I say that somebody here, whoever's in the full mode, is hoping that the Queen of Cups is going to feel just as excited and just as enthusiastic as they are. I think somebody is hoping and praying that the Queen of Cups isn't going to, you know, uh, turn into the freaking Queen of Swords and chop somebody's head off. Because somebody here is thriving on this Carpe Diem Seize the Day moment. So I say that whoever is in the fool mode is hoping that the Queen of Cups is going to actually <laughs> feel supportive of this person or be happy for this person in the fool mode that they're returning back. What is the communication from the Queen of Cups from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them about true love with the backup support of the Hero font? What is this about? Wow. Ace of Pentacles, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Somebody is traveling to the Emerald City to give a major offer, major commitment to the freaking Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, true love, intuition, central focus, Right there. Power of the numbers, you guys. Power of the numbers. What is this message from the Emperor Archangel Michael facing away from the Queen of Cups? From Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them with the backup support energy of the Hero font. What is this? Strength. Some of you are dealing straight up with a Leo. For some of you, somebody here, I say, wants to balance the scales again. This energy for some of you could be happening in the month of August. Could be one month because we have the coin card with the ace of coins. Could represent either one day, one hour, or one month. Sometimes within one year's time. But I'm feeling strength card August for some of you. Okay. Even with the Ace of Swords can represent one day, one week, one month. Coins represent months usually or years or days just depends depends on where the energy is flowing okay what is the energy of the empress archangel michael from scorpio unto their person or scorpio's person unto them with the backup support energy of the hero font what does the empress want to say What did I call out the devil energy, you guys? Card number 15, when I added up the number 96. Numbers don't lie, you guys. Somebody here has been feeling chained and bound to a mother figure, but technically I kind of saw it in the reverse, so I'm going to take it both directions, you guys, because the devil activity, the empress, the emperor, it's all neutral energy. Heriophant can be neutral sometimes. Um... I look at the Hero font being more positive than neutral. It just depends on what it's next to. The Fool card can be neutral. 
What are you taking a leap of faith into? Okay. So somebody here, here feels trapped and bound by a parental figure. Somebody is going to break the chains. Why would I say that? Because somebody here is in the full mode. And I have the three of swords, third party situation in the reverse. Truth and victory, Archangel Michael's sword of truth is supporting this healing, heart chakra healing process for either you, Scorpio, unto your person or your person unto you or the both of you coming together. This is the second time I've seen the Empress with the energy of the devil surrounding her. But again, like I said, some of them could be passionately thinking about you. Somebody could come in and give you some kind of flirtatious message, Scorpio, for some of you female Scorpios out there that are, we'll say, fertile, okay? Um, somebody here, I'm telling you, wants to get you, get you pregnant, get you knocked up. So if that's not what you want, take necessary precautions, I guess, right? But on the other flip side of the coin, for some of you, we got family issues going on. Somebody feels chained and bound to the freaking devil. Well, we've already known this, right? Scorpio unto your person or crosswatcher unto Scorpio. Mm-hmm. This mother figure is going to pull some BS. I can tell you that. They're, they're not going to stop, you guys. They're not going to stop, but not just yet. They will. <clears throat> Because these mother figures haven't come forward, haven't come clean with the truth. For those that had mother figures that destroyed your relationship, they've been hiding and concealing a lot of lies, demonstrating a lot of lies, and their behavior is a lie. It has been since day one. Since the day they first met you, Scorpio, or vice versa, or met your partner, vice versa, Whatever the case may be, I have a controlling mother figure going on right now. And this controlling mother figure for some of you guys in this particular situation, not for all of you because this could be baby mama drama going on, like I said. Baby mama drama could be a karmic girlfriend, karmic boyfriend, the exes, whatever, soon to be ex this, soon to be ex that, doesn't matter, okay? These mother figures are evil. How do we define evil? I think it's evil enough, we'll say, that these meddling parental figures get in the way of true love on purpose. Because they don't know their own value. They don't even know their own self-worth. In order to break up two people that are divinely meant to be together, this Mother figure and father figures and family members have created a lot of confusion, delusional energy between you and your person, Scorpio, or vice versa. Somebody's getting away from a parental figure, and I highly recommend they do it fast. They should have done it yesterday. They should have done it eight, nine months ago. In fact, some of them should have walked away from a mother figure or a father figure, etc., two years ago for some of you. Up to three years ago or even five years ago, I'm seeing. Deceptive. And I've dreamt of these mother figures, you guys. I've seen some scary stuff being spiritually attacked in my dreams from some of these mother figures.
Archangel Michael, you got to stay in that energy. What is going on between the Heliophant and the Empress? From Scorpio unto their person, or Scorpio's person unto them, with the backup support energy of the Heliophant, what is going on between these two? What's going on? Called out the energy of the hermit. See, somebody here is getting a spiritual awakening about a mother figure that has kept somebody chained and bound for some of you, not for all of you. This, again, could be the karmic girlfriend, karmic boyfriend, dot, 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 etc., 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 okay? Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. As far as I'm concerned, somebody here is going to take a leap of faith. It's like I've got, in a sense, the fool is like Luke Skywalker, in a way. This Obi-Wan Kenobi energy, this hermit energy, looking down upon whoever is in the fool mode. Because when you think about it, when it comes to like the analogy of Star Wars, Luke Skywalker was very curious about his past, about his family, feeling frustration, didn't like living on the planet that he had, you know, he was stuck and chained and bound to until one day he meets Obi-Wan Kenobi and changes his life around, but learning life through many hardcore lessons in order to become a great Jedi. Somebody here is seeking wisdom and knowledge. It could be that some of your partners are watching other tarot readers on YouTube, gaining other wisdom and insight about their situation towards you, Scorpio, or vice versa. Some of them, not all of them. <clears throat> what color lightsaber is it going to be today? Because, you know, I'm seeing that double-edged lightsaber, the one that uh, Darth Maul had. Now, Darth Maul is a pretty badass character. Very skilled but in this regard, I can't tell if the devil energy is coming in as Darth Vader or if it's coming in as Darth Maul. <laughs> and if you remember from Empire Strikes Back as an analogy here, Luke fought his own father, not once, but technically twice, really. But mostly with Empire Strikes Back. And Luke couldn't accept the truth that Darth Vader was his father. So when I think about it, there could be truths that will get revealed by parental figures that is not going to agree very well with whoever will say is in the Luke Skywalker mode, whoever's in the full mode. Because after Luke's arm got chopped off, He didn't want, he didn't want to be, he's hanging on for dear life off of that rafter thing, we'll call it. And down below you have the winds that are blowing up his you know what. And he decides to, boom, take a leap of faith and go down that hole or that tunnel, whatever, in Cloud City. All right. That's what the fool is doing. Somebody here is going to walk away from a parental figure because of truths that are going to get revealed. And as in the truth, I say what will happen for some of these, for some of you that have issues with the parental figures, is that the parents will come forward. They will come clean with the truth. And they will reveal that everything that they've been doing was planned. That everything that they uh, 
put on a fake facade. They, they will reveal that truth. They will reveal that they had every single, basically every single intention to break the two of you apart. Fair warnings for armed. Because you know what? Yes, we want the truth. Yes, we want truth, and truth can hurt. Truth can hurt sometimes, right? But it's better, it's better to have the truth and be strong and sit on your throne because nothing can touch you when you're sitting on the throne, you guys. When you're in your own self-empowerment, your confidence, whatever. Because a lot of your partners didn't even want to be truthful to you about long-term commitment and putting a freaking ring on it. A lot of them thought that you were just going to play, quote-unquote, play house. Who's got time to do that? For those of you that want to be married, who's got time to play freaking house? This is my Barbie doll. This is my Ken doll. We're going to pretend. We're going to pretend that we're married. Pretend that we live in the Barbie dream house, etc. But Ken's got what? Too many options? Maybe Barbie's got too many options. Who knows? But there will be truths that will be revealed. And basically, there will be an apology. Never underestimate the power of the planets, you guys. We're all connected. We're all in number. We're all connected. Energetically, vibrationally, frequency, sound, body mass, matter, atoms, etc. Somebody is going to take this leap of faith and be that Luke Skywalker... And basically turn their back. Somebody doesn't want to turn to the dark side. Because here, Obi-Wan Kenobi, in a sense, the hermit, is looking towards higher spiritual vibrational energy. And here's the devil, meaning Darth Vader or Darth Maul. And in between this, I've got a mother figure. Or a parental figure. Or baby mama drama. See, somebody here, this could even be Padme. For those of you that are Star Wars buffs, Luke and Leia. This is Anakin. But see, somebody's not looking towards, the reason why Obi-Wan's not looking towards in this spiritual reading here today, the spiritual love reading, is because somebody turned their back to the dark side. Your partner turned their back on the high frequency energy of the divine union, the divine connection, and wanted to turn to the dark side. Now, we need both light and dark in order to exist. Some would like to believe that the empire is more powerful than the rebellion. Not going to go in that depth, but again... It's like, uh, I want to say it's the, the, the Star Wars 1, 2, 3. I think it's the third one. Can't remember the subtitle of it. When Obi-Wan Kenobi said to Luke, Anakin, you were the chosen one. Obi-Wan believed in Anakin, but see, Anakin was persuaded by the darkness. Persuaded by an overwhelming consuming of power. And whoever this meddling energy is had an overwhelming consuming amount of power in order to persuade your person because your person was the chosen one to be a part of this union and to be with Mira, meaning whoever is in this Queen of Cups. Your person was the chosen one for this divine union. But they got persuaded by the dark side, we'll say, quote unquote. Let's 
Let's do a little bit more clarification. <clears throat> Message from the Prince of Wands, Archangel Michael, from Scorpio unto their person, or Scorpio's person unto them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ace of Pentacles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Strength card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Energy between the Fool and the uh, Queen of Cups. Let's see. Uh, let's see. That's going to be 13 and 11. That is 24. Could be in the next 24 hours, somebody here is going to take a leap of faith towards their Queen of Cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24. That's going in between the fool. Okay. What is the energy between the empress and the devil? Let's see. 15 and 3 is 18, which can represent the moon energy. Lies, betrayals, and secrets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 12. Okay, there we go. Well, bottom of the deck called out the energy of the world card. It's right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Archangel Michael, what is this passionate, energetic communication from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them with the backup support energy of the Herio font? What is this about? Boom! Your third ace on the board. This is going to, after they cut out this third party meddling energy, whether that's Darth Vader or Darth Maul, whatever the hell, whoever the hell, whatever it is. They're coming back in to give a strong, solid offer because now somebody has got the gift of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the universe. Praise the planets. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> because, like I said, going into hermit mode, that's becoming the Master Jedi, the, the enlightenment, the higher vibrational frequency. Bringing in the Ace of Cups. Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the Ace of Pentacles from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them? What is this all about? What's the motivation? Because it is about fate and destiny. What goes around comes around. Somebody will get their karma. They're going to get their karma on the meddling energy for believing the negative toxic family members or the mother figures or the father figures that were putting up fake ass facades. They wanted to screw with fate and destiny. Uh-uh. Whatever's written in the good Lord's book, it's what the universe wants. That's why I said, Obi-Wan said to Anakin, you were the chosen one for this fate and destiny and to be with the king or queen of cups. Take the roles how they resonate. Boom! A lot of major arcanas here and aces. Very straightforward messages today. What's this energy of the strength card, Archangel Michael, from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them? What is this all about? They have to have the courage and the strength to get out of this confusion, delusional energy. They're done with it. They're looking away. Somebody here is looking away from the confusion, delusional energy. Whoever's in the full mode, they're going towards the right, not going to the left. They're going to go to the right and heal and mend this relationship. Ace of Swords, Prince of Wands, Ace of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles, the Queen. Somebody, I think, gets it now. Or they're on the verge of getting it. About this relationship dynamic between the two of you. Somebody here could have been 
you know, smoking far too much marijuana, confusion. All that glitters is not gold. Again, being persuaded by the empire and the emperor. No, you know what? There's a, there are no coincidences. The emperor, isn't the emperor in Darth Vader? Yes. They're in cahoots. They're in cahoots with one another. Emperor was a very controlling controlling, manipulating energy, wanted to see the destruction between Anakin and Luke Skywalker, between, a, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Wanted to persuade Luke to be a part of the dark side. So somebody's person was persuaded by somebody who is in uh, upper authority, matriarch, patriarch, whatever. Lies. A lot of these parental figures are liars, deceptive, evil. Mm-hmm. Yes, they are. Because they don't know their own value. They don't know their own self-worth. That's why. And, the, and the, some of these parental figures think that they can soothe things over by, you know, giving lavish gifts or pretending like they love you with gifts and all this bullcrap energy for some of you. Not for all of you. Others of you, it's dealing with the soon-to-be ex-wife, soon-to-be ex-husband, the karmic girlfriend, waiting for your partner to get out of a third-party situation with a toxic partner that they're dealing with right now. Well, I'm going to tell you this, wish is granted. It's coming in. That three of swords is in the reverse. <clears throat> what is the energy between the fool and the queen of cups, Archangel Michael, from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them? How are they going to take this leap of faith? Teamwork and collaboration. I don't know. Maybe somebody's bringing in Han Solo and Chewbacca. You never know. You never know. But teamwork and partnership they want to work on this relationship again this fool i'm telling you i keep looking at the fool the fool is not looking towards the emperor not looking towards the devil darth vader whatever done what is the energy between the empress and the devil archangel michael from scorpio unto their person or scorpio's person unto them what is this all about ha <laughs> ha Knight of Pentacles, but in the reverse, it's the Princess of Pentacles. You see that? Okay. It came up in the reverse. This meddling energy, unfortunately, with the Empress, because she can go either way today, you guys. But between this energy, somebody here wanted to stop, block, and prevent long-term partnership, long-term commitment from happening between somebody's son and their person or their daughter and their person for some of you not for all of you others of you it was your partners dealing with toxic karmic uh people places things and situations baby mama drama all of that keeping somebody chained and bound and this this is this is all gonna get pushed out it's going to be done. It will be over with. Because fate, fate and destiny is here. Wheel of fortune, turn of events for the better. Message from the devil. One. Whoa. These cards are flying. The devil wants to talk. What is this all about? Let's try this again, spirits. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What does the devil want to say about this? There's going to be some rapid fire communication. Somebody's going to be getting the hell away from this devil activity. Message from the Eight of Wands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. King of Wands. Somebody here is going to go on their gut pull, their gut intuition. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. Could be whoever's in the King of Wands mode. See, somebody here could be leveling up because you know what? The King of Wands is holding his own, we'll say, lightsaber. Mm-hmm. Yep. So somebody here has advanced. A lot of some of you guys are really dealing strongly with Leos. 
whether the meddling energy is a Leo or your person is a Leo that you're in love with, etc. For some of you, not for all of you. Message from the King of Wands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, see, somebody's gearing up to walk away from Darth Vader or Darth Maul. They've had enough. I just keep seeing that. I, I just keep seeing that scene in Empire Strikes Back where Luke is hanging on for dear life. His arm is all chopped off, and he's like, no, no, it can't be true. I don't believe you. But, you know, it's because somebody is going to find out about the truth from either a meddling mother figure, father figure, Aunt, uncle, brother, sister, cousin, the karmic girlfriend, karmic boyfriend, ex-wife, ex-husband, soon-to-be ex-wife, soon-to-be ex-husband, any of any in any of those categories. The excessive bromances. Some of the, some of your partners are going to be walking away from the excessive bromances and the excessive girlfriends, etc. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at bottom of the deck, the tower moment, sign of Scorpio and Aries kicking in. Yeah, we're talking about literally the house is going to come freaking crumbling down to the ground. That's right. The empire is going to get, the death star is going to get destroyed, you guys. It's going to get destroyed. Message from the Ace of Cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. Yeah, the reason why they're coming back is because there's far too much conflict. There's too much conflict that's going on in somebody's environment. They're done with the meddling energy. This Ace of Cups is going to dominate stronger than this Five of Stupid Ass Five of Wands. Plus, you've got an Ace of Swords and you've got communication and healing and mending a broken heart. All of this healing. The healing energy is going to dominate over the culprit, the whispers, the gab and gossipers that destroyed your relationship. Bottom of the deck, yeah, somebody here is returning. Return of the Jedi, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your person, Scorpio, or vice versa, you unto your person. Somebody here is going to get rejuvenated by the sun because this card in this deck is called the Return of the sun king king or queen doesn't really matter doesn't matter there is leveling up victory and achievement six of wands message from the wheel of fortune one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten what is this fate and destiny what goes around comes around some of you guys are dealing with a fixed sign aquarius libra scorpio or a Taurus for some of you, more specifically. All right, let's see here. What is this? You guys have got all four aces. A passionate, energetic, new beginning, and that is what the fool does. See, yeah, somebody's learning how to swing that lightsaber. They're gonna ward off. They're gonna ward off. Darth Maul, Darth Vader, the Empire, the Emperor, whatever. Jet fighters, whatever, because on the bottom of the deck, somebody took a step back in order to learn how to manifest appropriately. Mm-hmm. Manifesting for the best. Magician energy. Message from the Ace of Wands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. They are returning with a major apology. Somebody that you could have known from grade school, high school, middle school crushes, high school crushes, sweethearts, college sweethearts, long-term business associations, blasts from the past energy, old flames that chose other people over you, but they're coming back around the bend again. Or you just know, Scorpio, with every single fiber of your being that you're meant to be with this person. There is a deep-seated love here beautiful way you guys to end this reading six of cups i'm on fire today you guys and you know it right exactly yes true love reigns supreme thank you heliophant energy for your clarification archangel michael goddess diana energies 
the empire and the meddling energy is going to go down. You guys have four aces. Four aces today. Look at you win. You win. You win. Where is the where's the other one? You guys, you win. We are winning. Scorpio, cross watcher into Scorpio. You guys are going to freaking win. Everything. All areas of your life. Not just with your person. All areas of your life. And just to boost this energy. Fate and destiny. True love. Queen Mira. Passionate, energetic communication. Blast from the past energy. Strength. The fool. Teamwork and collaboration. Marriage, long-term partnership, commitment, devotion. Oh my God, you guys, this is eight of wands. Movement. Everything else here is pretty much neutral because it could go either way. Devil energy, bye-bye. Empress energy connected to the devil, bye-bye. Unfortunately, the Empress, again, this is the second time she has been connected to the devil, unfortunately. Wow. Well, Scorpio and Cross Watchers, thank you so much for the love and support of my channel. Thank you so much to all of the new subscribers over this past week and for getting me over 33,000 views since the end of October. If you would like to book a personal reading for your situation through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. Thank you so much, and I'll be back all this coming week for daily Scorpio love readings. We're still going to be working our way down that yellow brick road through the major arcanas in order to get to the Emerald City, okay? So take care, Scorpio and Cross Watchers. Have a great Sunday. Bye.